careful carping episode episode 35 today and uh, as you can probably tell by the greenery around me we're back down pine pool which would probably be no surprise to most of you who uh, watch my videos on a regular basis um today is the 21st of august it's uh, wednesday it's just gone half 12 in the afternoon i decided to knock off work a little bit early today and do an afternoon session um i was down here again last week for a bit of a session but didn't get no footage done because uh it didn't fish very well at all. I ended up fishing three swims in the one morning session and uh, just didn't work out at all. I finally got onto some fish but couldn't get them feeding so I uh, thought I'd come down, have a half day from work and uh, come down here. So I knocked off work at 11 o'clock today and uh, I had a walk around yesterday actually. Seen a couple of fish in a few places so I finished at 11 today obviously as I said got here by about quarter past 11 and uh, as I started to walk around see if the fish were in the same places. Uh, I've seen a couple of mates uh, down here fishing uh, they're, they're on a few fish in front of them and uh, where I seen the fish moving yesterday which is up in Back Bay where there was again last week it's completely stitched up with anglers so uh, that's going to be very difficult for me to fish for them so I've decided to come down to Dizzy Swim it's a swim I fished uh, a couple of episodes ago when I lasted an evening session down here and now that's £17 common so uh, I'm pretty hopeful today of having one out of here it's uh, a very well it's the least pressured area of the lake it's the uh, only bay where there's no co uh, anglers so I'm down here on my own I've got a nice little south westerly blown into the corner and uh, I've got that nice reel line where I caught from before, so I've got both rods tied up against there to start with, both in the standard bottom rigs, and uh, we can see what happens. Uh, as I said, I was down here last week and blank, so I didn't bother doing a video because I worked so hard and trying to catch a carp, but today I'm going to do a video nonetheless, so you could be seeing me now and have a carp in a bit, or I could blank this session, but regardless, I've got to put a video up. Uh, last session where I blanked, that was the first blank I've had since May on here, so uh, I, I really enjoyed my spell down here. I did from May all the way through till August, without blanking so that's a big, a big achievement for me considering the amount of hard work I put into it to finally get a cart so hopefully today I can put that blanking behind me and get back on the cart but as uh, we all know it's a difficult lake and uh, we can all only do and try it's been fishing pretty difficult as of late as I say I've got a few friends down here there's been a few cart coming over but just nowhere near the amount that I've been normally caught so it's making it more interesting making it more of a challenge uh, so yeah I've Got to do a bit of tidying up for the swim. I've only just really cast out both rods and got them on the spot. Put a little bit about over each rod. And uh, yeah, so going to tidy up a bit, have a cup of tea, and uh, see if we can have a fish. Not really expecting one for a while. As I said, it's half 12 afternoon, dry spell. So probably will wait a few hours until this evening, and then I'll start really expecting one. But see what we can do. Catch in a bit. Well, it's turning to three now, and uh, not a lot's happened, to be honest with you. I've been uh, backing up. Little and often down the left hand margin because the reed line where I put the rods earlier and all that was interesting really is the coots. I've still got one rod out there, but I've moved another rod round out into the middle of the lake where I've seen a couple of fish showing earlier to see if I can pick off one of them. Uh, other than that, it's been a pretty slow. The weather's just staying mild, which is nice. No fish crews around the surface, which makes me more confident than down the bottom and gives me a better chance of feeding and taking a bottom bait, which is what both rods are out on. Uh, Winds die down a bit, so there's not much wind pushing into this corner, but there's a little little breeze pushing down to this corner. Uh, yeah, but other than that, nothing really else has happened. Uh, as you know, there hasn't been an episode out for a while now. It's probably been about a good month, but uh, that doesn't mean I haven't been fishing. Obviously, I was down here last week and blanked, so I didn't do a video there. And then other than that, I've been out. As you know, hole fishing is uh, another big hobby of mine, so I did a Friday afternoon with my dad the other week and uh, caught a new PB carp on a pole for me which was uh, eight and a half pound that's the biggest carp obviously I've caught in a pole nice common as you can see here uh, I also had another little mirror of about three four pound nice little scaly thing and then at about eight or nine tench uh, this one being the biggest here and uh, it was quite a good day my dad had about uh, 15 fish I finished up with about 10 in total uh, we was only there for about three hours we were fishing on Packenham fisheries because uh, we had a match on the Saturday with his work so we thought we'd go out just get the line wet and uh, just make sure we had all the tackle with us before we got to the match and then obviously we had the match on the Saturday over Worcester, Cobhouse Farm really nice day but fishing was pretty bad ended up finishing 11th out of 19th so uh, not my most productive day on the pole only weighed in with about £15 winning weight was £60 pound. so I uh, didn't fish too well but I blame it on where I was fishing because the people around me were also struggling so uh, yeah and then I also done a little uh, day session down Drayton the other week I didn't fish too well we had a few fish each but nothing worth shouting about it was the biggest one of the day uh, only 11 pound so none of the even medium sized carp showing up we all me and my mates seem to catch all the smaller ones but uh, all up the side of the lake we was unless you was fishing point or boards you were stuffed and obviously them uh, pigs are the most favoured ones on there and they had people doing the nights we couldn't fit on we fished down the left hand side 
and uh, fished as well as we could and caught what was in front of us. So, pretty good session. Didn't blog it, just finds a bit of a social. And uh, we're now here, back on the banks of Kingsway Water Park, doing a blog. So, just hope for, hopefully I have a cart for this one. It'd be nice to put another blog up with the carp on. I haven't put a blanking blog up for a while, but this has a potential to be the first one. It's, as I say, it's only 23 now, so got about another six hours maybe. Five or six hours before I get off home. So uh, hopefully we'll see what the outcome is. I'm pretty sure well, it's going to come to about the time in the next hour or two. And uh, the temperature's going to start dropping, so that's when I'm going to be most confident. So we'll just sit it out and uh, see what can happen. So I'll catch you in a bit. Right then, uh, well it's 20 to 7 now, and uh, as you can see the brolly's up behind me. It's uh, clouded over quite a bit and started spitting with rain, so quickly turned the brolly up, just in case the heaven does open and I don't want to get everything soaked, especially this time, because I'll be leaving in about an hour and a half or something like that. Uh, still no fish to report really. Uh, I've been speaking to my mates who are fishing over the other side of the lake, they also have had nothing. And uh, a few people that are in Back Bay, where I really fancied where all the cart were, they've had nothing either, so it seems like no one's been catching at all today, which is a real shame. Just shows how difficult the lake is still fishing. Uh, it's 27 as I just said, I've got an hour and a half left, so we're in proper bite time now. And um, still hopeful of having a fish. So uh, hopefully we'll have one after this little speech, if not I'll do an end section after. But just sitting hopeful. The wind's died down, still a little breeze coming through between the islands into my direction. So you never know, I could get a fish. Uh, There's probably a better chance of me blanking and then uh, not getting a fish. But that's part and parcel of carp fishing. Can't catch every time we come out. And uh, if we do, it takes away the fun of it. And uh, I do like a challenge, and this water is definitely proven to be challenging. Just when you think you've got it by the horns and uh, succeeded, you get problems like this and you start blanking again. So, uh, yeah, uh, it's going to make a cup of tea, warm back up. It's going to be chilly, and uh, I'll be back later with either a fish or uh, an outro piece. So, it's going to be. Right then, well, as you can see just there in the background, my barrel's loaded and it's time for me to get off home. It's uh, coming up to 8 o'clock now, I'm going to start losing a bit of light, and uh, I need to get home. Say hello to the missus, have some dinner and get all ready for tomorrow for another day of work. So it's been a lovely evening down here. It's uh, been pleasant to sit and watch the lake. Uh, gutted, I haven't caught anything and I have blanked, a bit like I suspected. Haven't really been happy with where I am because I haven't been on the fish, but give myself the best possible opportunity of catching considering the conditions when I turned up and where all the anglers were fishing. Uh, it turns out the people who are actually on the fish haven't caught and uh, my mates who are over on the other side of the lake haven't caught neither. So the fish are playing hard to get so it's been even harder conditions than uh, we even needed it. So uh, unfortunately it is a blank but this video is still going to go up nonetheless and I hope you've enjoyed it even though it's been a blank. As I've always said I'll never hide the blank videos and I will put them up just to show that we do blank from time to time and even on tricky lakes you are going to blank and it is to be expected. Nothing to be disheartened by. It gives me more drive to come down next time and I know when I land another carp out of here I'm going to get that massive buzz again and a big sense of achievement that I've managed to crack it once again and uh, finish that dry spy spell but until then uh, best get off and hopefully I'll be down here again next week depending on the car because it's got to go into the garage next week so if I get it back in time I'll be out for a morning session if not it'll probably be a couple of weeks before I'm down here again but hopefully next time down here I'll have a carp and I'll definitely be videoing it so if you like the video please hit like it would be much appreciated anyway if you hit the like button uh, leave me a comment any positive or negative feedback everything's welcome and if not already please subscribe to the channel so uh, until next time take care and i'll see you later all right then good morning first one of the morning rod's only been out there 10 minutes and it's whipped off 15 pound on the nose absolute stunning linear taking again on the pp60 bottom mate on the combi rig taking on the usual spot i haven't even done my intro yet so i'm going to stick this one back have a cup of tea get the intro done smashing <laughs> 